Supreme One, we await your orders. You need but to ask it of us, and it shall be done. The most enjoyable thing now might be taking over the world. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta. Uh, you can tell because he's the one dabbing over there. Oh yeah. Look Sorry, I just thought maybe I should just start doing <laughs> weird shit while I'm not talking in the intros. That's right, just remember everyone, Theta's the weirdo. That's what you need to know here. That's right, uh, I'm and, naked from a mud pit. And we're here to watch uh, Overlord today, that's right. Uh, last time on Overlord, uh, wait, what happened last time on Overlord? Oh, right. We got introduced to some of the lizard people. Uh, and their nice little fishing pit, and their cute little village, and their fun little politics where they exile people who go out to learn new things, but they come back and help everyone anyway because they're so nice. Uh, and then, of course, Crazy Death Skullball came down to tell them that they're all going to die. I appreciate... I appreciate that your recap... Of uh, the last episode is essentially what happened in the last five minutes of the episode. But it's the five minutes that I cared the most about. Why didn't you tell me about the other 25? How long do you think these episodes are? Alright, I overestimate. I went with 30. It's like 20 to 25 or something. So tell me about the other 20 minutes. 20, 19 minutes. The other 19 minutes. Not right, including. What do you got? Or I guess including. The intro. I mean, it was basically just an introduction to characters that we're not really going to meet for another three to four seasons. Oh, wow, this does change things. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's there was a lot of a lot of backstory, a lot of a lot of setting things up, and then it's just not important. We got five minutes of lizards, and that's what we're going to get. Well, I mean, I think we all understand that there was probably the best thing. I don't know if this is worth better or worse. <laughs> oh, it sure is distracting. Is it? Okay. Well, I just mean, we were all expecting the lizards, and I think that's the thing we were, you know, wanting to see the most. Mm -hmm. Right, because there's there's a lot of fun character to it. There's there's a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. <laughs> There's also, of course, Best Lizard Girl as well. Well, we saw her in the next time on thing. Mm hmm And we'll be see Yeah, so we'll be seeing her today. Not the sex scene yet, I hope. <laughs> I think that comes in like three or four more episodes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Overload of the Anime. How much harem can we get? Well, it's not just, um... I mean, it's not harem. The dude only has the one wife. Right, right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just teasing. But um, I mean, it's more um, it, what do you call it? What's the fetish for being a peeping tom? Voyeurism. Yeah, it's more voyeurism. Because you right, remember right. that Dian's eventually peeks in on him doing it. Ah, fun. Uh, but as far as this episode, I don't know specifically what happens, but I do know the lizards are going to get dunked on. That's, that's basically what we're going to be looking at, and a whole lot of uh, flaunting, I think. I think you've also got the episode order out of whack. That's also true. That could... The thing that will keep getting me forever is I'll expect something to happen, and the answer is no, actually, that's three episodes later. We still have a ton of build-up just to get to the moment. I mean, if I recall correctly, this is the episode where the lizard clans meet one another one by one. You're talking about... It's a politics episode! You're talking about when, like, Kukaitis shows up to fight mm -hmm. them, which I don't think is this episode. Right. In which case, we'll just have to go ahead and see. Yeah, because we still have to meet, like, three other clan leaders mm -hmm. who are present when that fight happens. So, I guess there's nothing left to do except watch it and uh, see how much fun we have. What is by the Great One. The only way to avoid your fate is to give me your credit card number and the three numbers on the back. I 
Oh, eight days, so we'll be halfway through the season then. Now we'll have done one more episode. That is, uh, this is some fun evil speech, I think. I mean, it's all intentional. Because you know what happens in four episodes. Oh yeah, it's entirely intentional. They have no desire whatsoever to actually destroy all of them. But, but it's still funny. I mean, no, he actually has the desire to kill a bunch of them. Like, a whole lot of them. You don't remember you wanted to see what happens when you raise a race like this from the undead. Mm -hmm. So he wants a bunch of test subjects. I think the thing that's really gonna fuck up everything I have set up here, and you watching the reaction now, totally get this, is when they put the fucking subtitles on the top of the screen. And my overlay is set up for the bottom screen. Hey, have uh, any of you guys wondered why old guy over there has eyebrows? None of us are growing hair. Why is that guy growing hair? Actually, yes, uh, this is a very good question. I, th I thought they were, I thought they were reptiles. <laughs> they are. He's the only one with hair. I think if any of us are different from the rest, it's you. Who did your mom have sex with? That got you hair follicles. They don't talk about the travelers, all right. Look at none of them. None of them have hair except that one. They're, they're actually glued on. He thought the bushy eyebrows make him more intimidating. One of these clans isn't gonna make it. The moderate yellow speckle, perhaps? The one with no other description than, ah, I guess they're middle of the road. <laughs> Imagine being that clan. It's like, alright, every clan is good at something. What's our clan good at? Eh, you know, we're, we're just okay. A little bit of everything. Cute little animation. ならば他の部族も順番に滅ぼすつもりなのではないか。奴らが攻めてくる前に他の部族と手を組み一斉に迎え撃つのか。かつての名誉スモールファングとレーザーテールならば再び同盟を結んでくれるじゃないか。Again
If he was a chief, where would they get the new fish from? かつての Attack them first. <laughs> I mean, that might be my alternative play. Figure out the order of attacks on the villages. Try to be the last village. And then just run away while it's attacking village one. There's, of course, the theoretical chance that they could all just choose to run away, but uh, it's, we know that's not really a possibility. That's what I'm saying, the last village has the biggest the Hydra chance. Hydra literally just keeps getting bigger and bigger every time they show more of it. Well, yeah, because they only showed... If they only showed parts of it first, really, so when they show the whole thing, it's going to be bigger than just its head. I don't Penguin's back. So I don't remember this guy getting up to anything. いえ、数日ほど人間の町に行かれるとか。アルベド様は中にいらっしゃいますが。なるほど。ところでクレア君、羊女子の君がここまで来るというのは珍しいね。セバス様がいらっしゃらないので、私がその分も働かないといけません。
これは失礼したい,いいえ私はレッドアイ族の族長代理を務めさせていただいているクルシュリュールです<笑>それで今回こちらに来られた理由をお尋ねしても結婚してくれあっあっ And suddenly she became the best girl for millions of people for at least one season. I mean, as weird all of this shit is, still the best part of the season, I think. Comes here for serious business and just goes, wait, no, too cute. I mean, it's a very weird thing. It's like, you get to these parts and you're like, I want to know what's going on with eyes in them. And then when this tarp is done, you're like, I want to know what's going on with the lizards. I'm just in the background watching on his crystal orb, just like. What am I watching? <laughs> main character also as main viewer of show. That that's a premise. But the problem is he's in the show, though, so... <laughs> Reflexive lizard aggression. ひとめぼれという奴だ。それに今回の戦いで死ぬかもしれないから後悔のないようにな。あ、カノツルギ、フロストペインを持つお方が死ぬ覚悟。メッセージを持ってきたモンスターを見たか。はい。あいつは精神をかき乱す絶叫を放ち魔法のかかってない武器での攻撃はほとんど無効化する以前遭遇した時俺は yeah, what if this was the tact that they just took with like the whole rest of Overlord? We know who Wines is now. We know he's out there. And we know he's basically unstoppable, and we're just watching everyone else like amp up to try to beat him. Well, I meant more so. What if we just never saw him again? What if everything was just reactions to the things that happen as a result of what he does? But never him, never the side An characters ever again. An anime series that is literally just a reaction show. But the reactors are, of course, the characters that were introduced to first. And then we react to those characters' reactions. Well, I mean, more so, like... We just have a bunch of characters living their lives, and every so often it's something like, Oh, did you hear? No one's heard anything from X Village over there in the north. And every so often they have to just change their lifestyle a little bit for the things that happen, because Ainz is doing stuff in the background. Every now and then we just get like a five second clip of Ainz behind a burning village, turns to one of his uh, generals and is just like, What color of robe do you think would be better for burning down the next one? Oh no, that's too direct still. I mean more like, say we have a bunch of characters, and they're like planning some romantic trysts or some big dance or whatever's going on in the political nobility. And they intend to like, do this big thing based on this mythology of like a red rose or something. And then, at the last second, they have to change all their plans because the village that typically grows the red roses hasn't been heard from in a while. And we, the viewer, know because they say something pointing at the map. It's like, oh, that's near Nazareth. Nazareth. It's like, oh, okay. We know why we haven't heard from that village in a while. So, a very tangential connections to Ainz. I kind of like the idea of the reverse of that, where Ainz is trying to put on some very basic uh, event or something, and it just ends up ruining the world around him. <laughs> uh, also, they're, they are getting back into the lore here a little bit. They, they already expressed the things that they expressed at the previous meeting, where it's just like, yeah, we all have to work together. And here they're just like, hey, how did we solve our overpopulation problem? Well, we found a nu nutrient source that has everything you need to survive. I think my problem, though, ultimately, is the lizard lore doesn't matter.
And it's fun to know, but ultimately, the lizards only come back one more time in the series that I'm aware of. And that's serving eyes, so... Right. I mean, it, it, this is supposed to be, like, the part where we're interested in their struggles, their highs and lows. Like, that's why, like, the little, uh, I'm in love with you scene is there, too. We're supposed to, like, care about these people and what's about to happen to them, because the premise is, of course, well, they've just been threatened that they're all going to die. What I'm saying uh, is that... And then when that's pulled back, we're supposed to be relieved. What that's, I'm saying that's... is that the, the lizards work better as characters that you're invested in. Their lore doesn't matter, ultimately. Spending 20 minutes learning about the backstory of the Lizard Clans doesn't matter when, after six more episodes, the Lizard Clans might as well never have existed. Mm. And ultimately, I don't think it serves to understand the motivations of the characters either. Because the motivations of the characters are very in the moment. Well, I mean, I guess we have to at least know where they're starting from. Where they are later is kind of irrelevant to where they started. Again, we already know where they're starting from because they're starting from where we meet them. What their ancestors did or what they did in the last war only really helps us inform what they're doing in the scene. Not so much where they're starting from. それに道を苦悩しながら傷つきながらそれでも進むものをぶざまだと思うほど愚かな押すに俺が見えたのかお前は美しい。There <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean that it's some sort of power thing, dynamic thing. I literally mean that the men are wearing, like, skirts, and the women are naked from the waist down. Imagine there's a Ferengi out there going, and it's like, yes, yes, it's exactly. No, they would be upset that the women are wearing too many clothes as it is. <laughs> Unless you're Quark's mom. Or, I guess, the Grand Nagus. We're fighting to win! Oh, it's gonna be so tragic when you literally just can't. It's a bold move, God. See how it plays out for him. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> Disguised as a bush. No <laughs> the light is hard on me, so I've turned into photosynthesis. <laughs> She also has said that she is technically like some reasonably high level priest. I guess when I say high level, I mean higher than the level zeros around them. 
デミウルゴス様の働きで手に入れられた革で作ったって聞いてます。Others best made。使用して問題があったら報告してほしいっておっしゃられてました。そうか、了解した。これでまたデミウルゴスに差をつけられたな。それと、うん、この戦いの結果をこの場で見届けるようにってご指示をいただいております。承知した。しかと見届けてほしい。Yeah, he, he really wants to、uh, show that he's actually useful as opposed to the people who are doing the politicking and spying and actually, you know, moving the plots. Well, no, I think it's more a matter of the heel is only good at one thing.、Mm -hmm. And he feels useless when he's not doing the one thing he's good at. Right. And of course, if he fails at the one thing he's good at, then that, that's a.、Uh, That's a critical point of mental failure right there. I mean, we all know he's not gonna fail t h e r e And this talking bush is my companion. The big dude. Ah, <laughs>、uh, do, you, do you love even the characters of the show are just like taking the shit out of it? <laughs> I think that'd be a lot less impressive if the camera wasn't so close to where the axe was swinging. Uh, I, I guess it's supposed to be one of those, like, ah, it's in your face, look how scary it is, kind of things. That's what I'm saying, because the camera's perspective. The camera's perspective is right there. But you could see how far away those two characters were from one another. Which means it's no more scary than seeing a guy go, ah, ah. It's like, okay.、Right. Aimed at us, the viewer, rather than the person he's actually talking to and trying to kata at, right? But again, like I said, it's the. The distance from the camera, from the edge of the blade, that makes it effective. Because otherwise, again, it's like somebody standing outside your window at a distance and just doing the Star Wars kid. It's not really <laughs> all that frightening. I don't know. If I looked out the window and someone was、uh, doing the Star Wars kid thing, I'd be a little freaked out. <laughs>、uh, so. What did we learn from the episode? What did we get going for with all the lizards? I mean, the main point that we learned was that for some reason, some lizards have hair and some don't. <laughs> and it'll definitely not be explained.、Uh, I mean, more importantly, we heard that there was a bunch of different lizard clans. And they're all linked together next time on. ゾリウスとクルシュはドラゴンタスク族の村に同盟を持ちかけるしかし族長のゼンベルは強者のみに従うため一騎打ちによる決着を要求した同じ頃第一に死を宣告されたレイザーテール族の村にはシャースーリューラリザードマンたちが集結しつつあった第三に集うリザードマンついに戦いの呪しが上がる Thank you. All right, most, we get the final bit of preparation. I think the most disappointing thing is that my favorite one of the Lizard Clan leaders is the first one to die as well, but I think that plays the course for me. Any right, character right. I like is immediately going to die. Right. Meanwhile, of course, the two that spent the most time talking this episode are, of course, the two who will go on into the future and like,、uh, be, be seen more. I mean, technically, Or at least be relevant. Technically, one of those two dies. Technically, well, not, not immediately, right? I don't think they died these, these episodes. Yeah, they do. They do? Huh. I know. I thought I, I, thought I lived.、Eh. Sorry. Part of me also wants to say also, Dimple dies. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Hey, everything I say is correct. <laughs> it's correct until it doesn't happen. No. No, you saw Dimple die, didn't you? <laughs> And then Dimple came back, because Dimple. Nothing stops Dimple. But. So when I say that one of those two dies, what do you think that means? Oh, right. No, that's all right. They have resurrection magic. I completely forgot about that. Oops. I 
I now remember how it goes. Oh, that's right. Our main character of the show is an overpowered magic user. Correct. He can literally cast anything he wants. In it. <laughs> uh, but right. Um, so yeah, so this was a whole bunch of setups just for the lizards so we feel for them. And next time is going to be more of their preparations before the battle even starts. We're seeing them just struggle and it's unlikely they put up any defense and it it, it was already been telegraphed from the beginning. They're they're not winning. Right, yeah, I think uh miscalled it at the beginning when I was thinking next episode. It's like mm-hmm. two episodes from now. Is the big like, thing. like I like I said, every time I think something's about to happen, it's no no no, actually there's another three episodes first. Same thing we had in the beginning of the first season. Mm-hmm. is that we remember everything to be much more succinct than it turns out to actually have been. We we we, we wiped all the stuff from our minds, is what happened. We remember like, Overlord being six episodes a season, and it turns out to be 12 episodes. <laughs> it's like, I like Overlord because it has these really fun moments, but then I also don't like Overlord because it does this thing where it just drags out sometimes. Overlord is dragging itself out the anime. But at least it's not filler. <laughs> uh, so next time, I guess uh, Eins learns to drive and gets his driver's license. So No, that's the movie with uh, Goku in it. No, no, that, that wasn't a movie. That, that was just like a filler episode. It's a filler Goku episode? and Piccolo go to get the driver's license. No, it's uh, that happens during the movie when Hell lets loose. I think they also try then. then I don't know. Because Nappa comes back, Frieza comes back, so Hitler comes back, actually. <laughs> I mean, because he's, I mean, he's like, right, right. like a five-second scene where Hitler in a tank or something like that. Mm-hmm. But no, I'll, I'll totally link you that episode later. But for right now, uh, I think that's probably it for Overlord for the day. And that's it for Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you, everybody.